Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, it is a beautiful day, and it's not because of this, but because of uh, this. So for those of you following the Barn Dominion build, we've been at this thing for two and a half years. Now, the videos don't go back that far, but that's how long this process has taken. And this here was the last piece of the puzzle before we can call and get our C of O. Now, we have done a lot of this work ourselves, but we decided to hire all this out. So stick around, we're gonna go over why this thing is built the way it is, because if you can tell, there's a post here and a post here, and there's a reason for that. So let's jump to the time-lapse, catch back up with you. Tell those guys busted all this out within a day and a half of work. This porch is completely freestanding of the building. You may be wondering why is that? Why don't you just tie it in the building? Well, there's technically two reasons, and let's go inside and I'll show you for one. So the first reason that we've done this is you can tell here these are the purlings that are in the building here. Now, when we had this building built, we had mentioned to the sales guy, hey, we were planning on putting this porch here. Uh, didn't really think nothing of it. We told him we were doing the porch. This is how he's going to do it, but we were going to build it out of wood. But we didn't think really until after it got installed that the problem is these beams are not very thick. They're honestly relatively thin, uh, but it's the shape that gives them strength. But the problem is, is these things are meant for like this way strength, not this way strength. They're pretty thin here. I mean, I know they're a Z channel, but they don't have a lot of strength. So for that to happen, we needed to support the porch on the back side. And so that's why we ended up doing the pieces like we did out here where we have the LVLs and the back post is to give the porch the weight. It could bear the weight on those posts and not on the actual metal itself. And as you can tell back here on the back side, we have used a large LVL that spans the entire way tying into the corner here. 
and all the posts are notched. That's what the rafters are sitting on. Now on this front side, we have used six by six cypress along with six by six cypress post. And over here, we have done a double LVL because of the length and the, we're spanning. It's a little bit far for a single. And so we've run a double span here uh, to clear the door. So we only have two posts technically on the front and three on the side. Another reason we kind of went this way is that we don't, we didn't want to cut into the side panel. We wanted to keep the side panels separate. So we actually have flat or trim and flashing that is actually cut to this panel profile and it's just sealed. Now here you can see the trim that we used that got cut to the profile of the panel is sealed up, worked out very well. Now while we know that's not conventionally how you would do it, it at least keeps the integrity of the building uh, from leaking. There's no leaks going in the building, which we didn't have any issue with before. We had everything sealed up. So we didn't want to cut those panels. We decided to go that route with it. And honestly, we have done, they've done a very good job. Uh, we don't have any leaks that are coming through. So I'm sure over time we're gonna have issues with the sealant. If it leaks between the porch and the building, it doesn't really matter. If you look, we have, and I'll put a link in the description to these post bases. They are actually really nice post base that we still got to put the caps in the ends of them, but we went with the four bolt one on the front that has four plates all wrapped around the back ones because we couldn't get to the back. We only just did the two bolt ones or the two plate ones. And well, they've actually worked out very, very well. Up there, we've added some of these nice trimmed out pieces. Now this is still tied to the building via those blocks you see there and the blocks you see back here. There's three on this side and there is two on the front. Now those blocks are five eighths bolts, so they're pretty long. They're actually still tying to the building, but once again, all of this weight and stuff is just sitting on itself. So we don't have to worry about it messing with the building, but if it ever tries to move or if the building moves, it all kind of moves in unison. So should never have an issue. We are not done with this porch because we still have to put the gutters on and at some point we're gonna come back and finish this underside out. Now for the simple sake of just trying to get this thing done and get the CFO, we have elected not to get this finished out yet. We're gonna finish it out at some point. But the biggest thing is to get the C of O. It's been two and a half years and get them in there. And well, that is more important than finishing this out. We got all the time in the world to finish this out. Now stay tuned because we still have more on this bar dominium. We've still got the bar build to finish up that we're gonna do on the back side in the game room. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually move pinball machines in this. And well, we're also gonna discuss how much this tire bar dominium actually costs because I know that is a question that everybody always has and is it really cheaper to build something of this nature versus by, you know building a house? And well, we'll answer all that in the coming videos. So hit that subscribe button. Now, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll answer them to the best I can. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, folks. We'll catch you next time.